Hi guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Hey, how you doing? Now listen. Okay, so as you've seen from the title, I'm going to be telling you my own personal creepy story. Um, so this is my experience um, whilst I played the Ouija board. Um, I have said this in a previous video, I've like touched briefly on it. Um, but I haven't gone into like how much detail I have gone in here. Um, if you want to go check that video out, it's on my couples channel and I'll put it in the eye above. Um, so, just to start. Um, people believe Zaza to be either a sibling of Zozo, who is obviously the one of the biggest demons or evil spirits on like where she playing Ouija board, or she's believed to be the daughter of Alistair Crowley. But either way, Zaza is still like an evil spirit, like such demon sort of thing. So I was living in supported accommodation, and me and the other girl that lived there wanted to make a Ouija board. Um, so. The supported accommodation I lived in was 1000% haunted. We both heard noises together and home alone. Um, we so um, there was a three story house and we hear noises from the woman who owned the house upstairs when no one was home. Like we heard creaking and stuff. I know that might be the house settling, but we heard noises on the landing, um, creaking on the landing. We heard stuff in the bathroom and downstairs so we both saw like a black figure in our rooms as well um she saw like a couple of them standing over a bed while like trying like watching it um there were numerous orbs in the house as well as we always felt like we were being watched and very uneasy anytime we went into certain rooms like the kitchen for example um, yeah, and to be honest, it was quite a creepy freaking house to live in. Okay, so the girl I lived in, with, for the purposes of the video, let's just call her Alex, um, had a cobble box, like cobble shoe box, um, that we cut into a rectangle and obviously did the yes and no, did the A to Z and zero to nine, um, on the Ouija board and we used a bottle lid as the planchette. Um, I am being deadly serious by the way. We began playing with our homemade Ouija board asking a question like what's your name and how old you are etc and stuff. If you don't know uh, Ouija board spirits actually don't have to tell you anything or the truth and they really do. Um, they're like very trickstery sort of things and they'll probably try and fuck with you if you let them. So, after asking the spirit a few questions, it stopped responding. Um, we asked if anyone's there, and we asked if it was Jack, the boy who we were speaking to. And it said no. So we were, like, speaking to a new, like, spirit. Um, so we asked a few questions to that one. But we asked for Jack. Um, however, a spirit, like, pretended to be him. Um... But we didn't know until uh, we got cut off from him and another spirit came through. During this, uh, we, w like during this one, we didn't actually ask any questions because obviously we didn't realise until later it was Jack, um, like name etc, who you are. Um, we soon realised it wasn't Jack because the bottle lid planchette <laughs> went to all four corners of the board and a figure of eight and down from nine to zero, I think it is. Um, and obviously I knew that when it does that you're supposed to stop and you're not supposed to play so I said goodbye um, we decided to play again and say hello um, this time we got Jack again um, we asked him we asked him more questions and he went to all four corners of the board etc um, I asked his name because like we didn't stop and we didn't say goodbye I said what's your name sort of thing and like it did kind of do the eight and the four corners of the board but I was like what is your name and it says Zaza and then continues to do the figure of eight and four corners of the board 
Even though we experienced one of the most dangerous spirits of the Ouija board, we didn't get any like marks or severely haunted. Um, during us playing the Ouija board, we both played on our own and broke a lot of rules unintentionally. So basically, uh, the rules that we broke were playing on our own. Uh, the girl kind of took her hands off because it moved and she got scared. Um, yeah, so playing on your own can make you very, very vulnerable. If there's more than one person, then it, you know, equals it out a bit. So, yeah, because um, uh, this girl, Alex, um, you know, we were really good friends, but... Um, she was that type of girl, like, we both, like, hyped each other up and sort of that. Um, and I was like, are you moving it? Because, you know, you don't know, unless you play on your own, you do not know if one of your friends is taking the mic and playing and pushing it themselves. Um, so I played on my own, and literally, it's the weirdest thing, because you're, like, you're literally just going around the board, and it's, like... And it's literally just, take, it, it's freaky as fuck. Luckily, when we both played it, it didn't go to all four corners of the board and a figure of eight. Luckily, praying to God. So, um, we started playing that night and decided to play a few days later. Um, I asked a couple of questions and it went straight to four corners of the board and a figure of eight and down from nine to zero, etc. Anytime we decided to play after the original night... After we decided to play, after the original night, it would consistently go to Zaza. Uh, every single time. Um, and it went to four corners of the board and a uh, figure of eight almost immediately. Um, so I actually think that uh, Zaza was actually pretending to be Jack the entire time. Or manipulating the spirit Jack. Um, and obviously it bonded with us that anytime we played the Ouija board it would instantly come at us and be all of these different types of spirits that it actually wasn't um so we actually played a lot of times um we played about i'd say about six seven eight times with the exact same board um most of the time was in the exact same room uh, once we played it outside, once we played it in uh, the bathroom for some reason, we wanted to change the room, um, but we always played it in Alex's room. Um, I don't know why, but she had like a bigger room to be able to sit on the floor and play it. Um, yeah, so we played like a lot of times, usually like, I don't know how long um, we were playing, because I was really tracking time. Um, but we weren't playing for hours and hours and hours. We were playing like, you know, a few, like, about 20 minutes probably, and things would start to go wrong sort of thing. Um, so, luckily, we were really, really lucky to have, um, walked away without, like, without any harm. Um, and, like, no hauntings from any spirits or sad spirits. Um, so we were very lucky, especially um, because we actually burnt the Ouija board after using it, which is another rule that you're not supposed to break. I think it releases the spirits and stuff like that. Um, so a couple of the other rules we broke were we asked the spirit to like touch us. No, that sounds really weird, like tap us on the shoulder and stuff like that um to show that you're here uh that is something you're not supposed to do because you're giving a spirit permission to come out of the board touch you um which is a, just stupid um the other thing is you're not supposed to play the same one more than once or like you're not supposed to play in the same area or something like that it's because obviously you know um but we broke uh, quite a few rules that like um, if I think of anything while I'm editing, so I can't actually think right now, um, 
but yeah like like we're really lucky that i'm like actually surprised because we asked it numerous times um whether it would like tap us and stuff like that nothing happened but we did hear like a couple of like um rattles and stuff and knocks around the house when we were doing this uh bear in mind this was actually at night and the people upstairs were sleeping um another thing was that uh the girl alex said um you can come with us to the spirit and obviously me being like not scared but it can creep me out because obviously if i was that scared i wouldn't have played the ouija board um but um she said you can come with us and i kind of went no um you know i said no we no you can't um and luckily uh nothing happened um i'm actually really surprised um obviously you can tell that i'm getting a bit like creeped out because there's a gap in my door um and that's where my state like the landing um but i've got a light on me so i can't actually see anything but it's just something it's fine um but yeah so nothing may have happened because i'm really like religious but i don't practice um so i've been christened and confirmed i don't know whether that had anything to do with the fact that nothing happened to me but i don't actually think she was either like i don't think she was christened or confirmed either we didn't do any of the do's for a ouija board so we didn't light white candles around the board um and obviously we did a lot of don'ts so we are very lucky um yeah um by the way anytime i do look um it's not that i'm scared i'm just looking to see if i can see anything um because it doesn't actually scare me um like obviously it'll creep me out and i'll be like oh because if you don't know i've seen things and obviously the ouija board didn't really enhance the seeing things so yeah also just so i'd let you know this is not at all for you to go out and then try and summon zaza or zozo it's not at all for that reason at all this is just my experience and my creepy story i thought it'd be nice because i only have this story as my main story as a creepy story um so i obviously want this to go over my channel um so i'll stop my rambling now because uh this is a good few minutes story time um yeah so i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to smash a like and subscribe down below if you are new hi i'm katie hey and you guess what on my kick guys hey how are you doing okay so if you want to see any particular videos from me put in the comments below and i'll make sure to do them uh put your creepy com uh, put your creepy videos uh, not creepy stories in the comments below and i'll make a video out of it um saying all of your creepy stories because i think it'll be really fun to like read over them and be like oh my god because i think coming from a viewer it'll be like more real so i'll see you in the next one